Let's go. New game plus 26. Our time limit for finishing this entire run is there. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Let's go this way first. All right. All right, all right. And yeah, we're going to be playing Icarus right after this as well. And unfortunately, the problem I was having yesterday in Icarus with it being like insanely dark, like inky blackness, that that wasn't my computer. That's just the game now. They made it darker. So at night, you can't see anything. So you basically want to make sure you're not out at night unless you get like a higher tier, like a flashlight. Because you can make flashlights and stuff eventually. Come on, man. Do it. Yeah, it was like super dark. Is everything on? Yeah. Super dark. Hey, Zift. Couldn't see anything. And I I ended my stream. I was going to end my stream soon anyway yesterday. I was... I keep hitting this too much. That's the problem with faster movement, too. When you want to make, like, very... Minute movements... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hang on. It's like hurting my brain doing this. Hurting my soul. Still, it's too far. I need like a tiny little step. Just a little step. Come on. There we go. I walked back into it. Jeez. It's maddening. I mean, still, in the grand scheme of things, it's like super quick to use this wand to teleport across worlds, but when it takes, like, ten attempts like that, it's like, ugh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Reminds me of playing the forest. Yeah. See, the forest at least had options. It had color grading options and all that. Icarus does not, and I thought that was, like, just they didn't do it yet because it's in beta, but... Apparently, I think, maybe, when I went on the Discord to ask people about it, they were like, well, it's realistic. I'm like, yeah, but you can't see anything. It's not good to play a video game without being able to see things, you know? It's realistic, but there's a point in good game design where, like, realism needs to be put aside a little bit for the sake of gameplay, you know? Anyway. So that's the one little thing that I'm like, uh, I don't know. but it'll be okay. Now I know because it's a hardcore survival game and they want darkness to be like a major part of it. Something you have to fight against and it makes sense, but it's just, you know, bad for video and streaming, like really bad for video and streaming because of the fact that for you guys, it's going to, for video, especially when, when things get processed, a bunch of times, like when you upload things to, to YouTube, what I do and a lot of people do is even if you don't play in 4K or stream in 4K, haha, <laughs> um, you, you render your video in 4K so that when you upload it, it takes le YouTube, it forces YouTube to use their high quality um, encoder on it. Instead of, like, the normal encoder that they use for everything. But it's still, like, YouTube just completely destroys video quality. And with a combination of, like, bitrate, with games like that that have a lot of green foliage and everything. With low bitrate and, or, like, bitrate getting screwed up from all the foliage. Especially on Twitch. And darkness like that. It's, like, a ba really bad combination for video. But... You know, it is what it is. Which is something I've been saying a lot. It is what it is. I've been saying that a lot lately. But it's the truth. Anyway. Cool. Yes. The beginning of this always goes relatively painlessly. This is my... In this run... This is the 20th 32 orb run in a row. Oh, man. 
but yeah, with the forest, the forest is super dark, but then you can pick, like, there's that one color grade that brightens things up a good bit. Especially now. The last time I played it, it was, like, even brighter. It's like, okay, that's good. Um, but Icarus, they... I think they chose not to put a brightness setting in the game for the sake, like, they didn't want to. Which, like, I've never played a game that did not have a brightness setting. Well, I, I have, actually, but of course I have. But it's like any game that has, like, darkness like that, they always have some kind of brightness setting. I'm holding out hope that they'll adjust it a little bit, because it is, it is kind of too dark. Because it's funny, because, like, they're doing it for the sake of realism, but at night in the game, it's pitch black. Even with a torch, you can't see, like, two feet in front of you. But if you go underwater, you can see just fine. <laughs> the underwater environment is, like, bright. All right, we're going down to... Oh, no, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Maybe we'll run into this one over here. Oh, we still have this stuff, too. Nice. Oh, it's a cami. Yes. Yeah. That, too, mentioning that, like, isn't it a... What's the word I'm looking for? Not immersive. Like, oh, look, gold. <laughs> no audio. Capital, thanks to the follow. Uh, what's that word? When games have settings in them. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate you. Welcome. When games have settings for people, like colorblind mode and all that. What is that called? I can't think of the word right now. But anyway, isn't it, like, a related setting to that? You would want a brightness setting for people who, like, have problems? Accessibility, yeah. Thank you. Anyway, I don't want to make a big deal about it. Whatever. Well, I'm fin- I'll say I'm finished making a big deal about it. So... Uh, Maybe we'll get lucky, and this one will be over here, but it doesn't look like it is. Also, I can see so clearly. So I adjusted my... <clears throat> because of that yesterday, how dark it was. Oh, let me grab my coffee in a minute. I made some more. Um, I adjusted my GPU's, like, brightness settings a lot. So now I can see so much in this game. <laughs> it's so nice, but my desktop looks washed out and gross. <laughs> it's so bright now. I can actually see through the fog of war. It feels like I'm cheating in Noita now. Alright, so we'll... Search this entire biome, starting from this side. This is a dangerous place, though. We could get polyed here. So I don't want to look away too much. In fact, if I see any polymages, let me let me just kill them. Maybe. Yeah, this is not looking good right here. Yeah. <laughs> Put the fear into me. Okay, there it is, and there's a cool. Yay! Kill something with it. A8. Ah, whatever. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to be in this area with berserked polymages. 
Um, anyway, Bored Mephisto, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> Was just... Let me just... Hey. There we go. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Man. Let's just get all three of these orbs and then get safe. I don't like hanging out in this spot. And then I'll read chat. Don't want to lose the run now. Come on. Frame rate. Man. There we go. I was just talking with another guy who's Protan can't finish a game because it relies on color-based puzzles with no colorblind mode support. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What are you trying to find? We're doing a 32 orb run. We're in New Game Plus 26. Doing our 20th 32 orb run in this run. <laughs> Just heading to New Game Plus 28 total. So basically, you just have to get all the orbs except for one. Eat a few of these just in case. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the same exact thing I've been doing for the last, like, month and a half in this run. <laughs> but now we, we can get through it a lot faster. <laughs> Alchemy is done. Wizard Den. Complete. Now we go down to hell. The teleport wand is the bottom one here. It starts from this. You don't need all this other stuff. From the octuple spell, you need this too. But it works the way it does in New Game Plus. It will take you exactly one parallel world, or one world across. In New Game, it won't be as precise, because the world is uh, wider. But there's a version for New Game also that you can look up. Yep. You're welcome. Alright, so... Let's start on this side, since we're over here. Maybe not this far. You will be doing Supernova again? Yeah, eventually. When we get to the peaceful world after New Game Plus 28. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. At first I was like, is it really gonna save that much time? And, yeah. Totally. Um... This way? No. Oops. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Wait a minute. What did I do? I 
I missed one. Which one did I miss? You took middle, then left. So where are we? This is the middle, right? Ah! Oh yeah, that was the middle. So... Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hell am I? Oh. Interesting. We got an orb tower here. And now it's back. <laughs> so that orb just didn't load in. That's what they do sometimes. Anyway. So which one did we not get now? Like, it's... Ugh. So we, like, when it doesn't load in, sometimes... No, we didn't get the middle one. Jeez. Alright, whatever. <laughs> you didn't get the right one? Whatever, we got this now. It's fine. Um... No chasm. So that means with that, we could get more than 33 here, but I think. I don't know. This is my first time doing a high orb run in New Game Plus 26. I didn't think there were orb towers anymore. I thought that got fixed. Wait a minute. All right. Do 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 do. Nice. Didn't you had repulsion field? You use the nullification altar. I have Repulsion Field, yeah. But we can't use uh, the Nullification Altar anymore because it's gone. It gets deleted when you do the Supernova. Supernova is just when you make the sun touch the dark sun. You gotta move one of them. You gotta be, like, really powerful with usually a lot of stainless armors. And, and or you can just get, like, a permanent circle of vigor effect. Like, you know, just use circle of vigor a lot and you need saving grace. Because with saving grace, you have iframes after it kills you, after anything kills you. So if you also have something healing you at the same time, it's easy to stay alive without losing your life and a bunch of extra lives. Anyway, 21. All right, now we do the lake. My son runs so, wait, was so hard. Uh, 
It could be, yeah. Unless you do, you know, you break the perk roll and all that. Whoops, we gotta go up. Died like nine times. Yeah, it happens. So this is where the... So, okay. This is where the nullification altar usually is in New Game Plus. It's in this corner near the lake. But the structure itself is gone because of the supernova. However, I'm pretty sure maybe the... Uh, the material sensors or whatever are still there. So if I wanted to, I could try to find... I, I could spend a bunch of time trying to find exactly where those sensors are. And then... Oh, uh, wait, look. We're looking at it right now. It is still there. Nullifying altar. So you just mouse over it and it's still there. So I could technically make my own little hollows to fill the liquids in. <laughs> or the... Do I still have silver? So technically, I could, if I wanted to get rid of... We'll try that in New Game Plus 28. Because we're going to be in New Game Plus 28 for a long time anyway. Um, but I would like to get rid of that. There's a few perks that would be nice to get rid of. Especially, also, this would be nice to not have. That's cool, knowing that now. Excellent. So it is still there. Nah, we're only doing New Game Plus 26 today. I'm playing Icarus after this. Icarus is uh, most likely going to be another main game on all my channels, just like Noita. And uh, it's in beta this weekend. I only have this weekend to play it for the next two weeks. So. Yes. Just trying to get... You know, I'm mostly going to be streaming that this weekend. And when it fully releases in the beginning of December, it's going to be something I stream a lot of, but obviously always Noita as well. Alright, it's so probably not this high up. Let's go to the left. Let me just get all the way up. May crash. Alright. In fact... Well, do I care if I crash? Not really, not right now. What is the difference for New Game Plus 28? 28's the last New Game Plus loop possible. And, uh... So the whole point of this entire run that I've been doing for the last few months has been to get the... We did all the secrets in New Game before even going to New Game Plus. Except for, like, two that were... One of them is, like, actually completing the Sun Quest. We did it, but the sensors got destroyed um, by doing the Supernova first, or performing a Supernova first or whatever. Anyway... There's so a couple things we have to do at the end. Um, so I did all the secrets that are possible to do in one run. And then we've been going through every New Game Plus loop, getting the maximum amount of orbs possible in order to get into the next New Game Plus loop. So like 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then 12, or then 32 every time. So this is right now, this is the 20th 32 orb run we've done in this run. We're going all the way to New Game Plus 28. And then, uh, yeah, there's no infinity, unfortunately, because there's a finite amount of orbs. So the max is 28. And uh, going there. And then I'm going to do a 33 orb run, back up my save, kill the boss with 33 orbs. Oh, hey, we got more eyes. Nice. Kill myself in the Dark Sun. To get my ending stat screen, you know, because I want to see all that stuff. And then I'm going to reload my save. That's going to be, like, the main ending of the run. But then after that, uh, we're going to do a 34, 35, 36 orb run. Or, like, a 36 orb run total. Getting the three orbs in a great treasure chest in one pixel in the world. We have to find that one pixel and then 
cast end of everything and survive it to spawn a great treasure chest. Um, we're going to look for all the eyes in New Game Plus 28. We might as well do that, too. Wait, is this it or is this the bottom? It's the bottom. All right. And then... Yeah, so we have to spawn a great treasure chest on one pixel to get an orb in it. And then we got to do that two more times after that. And take that great treasure chest to both the parallel worlds. East and west. And open it there to get orbs there. That we can pick up. And then that will be the maximum amount of orbs possible. And then we'll kill Colmi again. Like that. Go into the peaceful, invincible amulet of Yendor world. And then that's when I'm going to be doing a lot of experimenting and stuff with many different things. See, that's why I'm killing myself first, because that'll be the end of, like, the legit part of the run. After that, I have to use an external program in order to tell me which pixel it is. But even though I'm using an external program to tell me, like, it's going to show me the map of the world with the pixel I need to use and the uh, coordinates... I'm not going to use a mod or anything to tell me my coordinates in-game. I still have to find that pixel. So it's going to take hours, probably, to do this. No, I'm using the external website to tell me where it is. Because it's basically impossible to do it without, but, you know, still want to do it. That The end of this run is going to be me doing a bunch of science. Trying to break the game in a bunch of different ways. Like, that's why we have two of these, and we're going to take these into the peaceful world. Experiment. We're going to get the broom wand, hopefully. I'm going to go into as many parallel worlds as possible. Also, eventually the save is going to be completely broken and corrupt, but... That will be the end of this run. But I'm going to keep this save forever. And keep experimenting for years, maybe, with it. We'll see. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's random. Mm hmm. Yep. And in some worlds, it's not even. In some seeds, it's not even possible to get it. It changes in each New Game Plus loop, though. So I had to. I already looked it up um, to make sure it's possible in the seed because this is a random seed. I didn't pick the seed. And uh, yeah, in New Game Plus 28, that pixel is near the mine's entrance someplace. It's like b under the ground near the mine's entrance. So I just got to find that. I got to spam end of everything hundreds of times probably in order to find that pixel and I'm going to use like a series of there's a bunch of different or not a bunch but a few different wand builds and techniques I'm going to use in order to try to stand on that one pixel where the hell I'm losing IQ points right now where's this orb man I just don't want to crash. That's why I'm going kind of slow in here. Also, it'd be nice to... I don't know. Find the orb. <laughs> Where the hell? Seeing those eyes kind of threw me off. I started looking around for more eyes. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for an orb. Unfortunately, maybe it's underneath? I don't know. I've never seen it below the lake. I don't think it's possible to be below the lake, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have summon ground. Summon floor or whatever the hell. Summon walls, something we'll pick up when we find it. It'll be... I'll find it, no problem. Like, this run has been going for months already. What was that? This run, run has been going for months already, and hey. 
I uh, don't mind if it goes for years, pretty much. It won't, though. We're almost finished with, like, the main part of the run. But, I mean, I plan on playing this game for years, and I plan on keeping the save forever, so... I'm always going to return to it to, like, experiment with different things, maybe. But first, we have to find this orb. What the fuck? Maybe it's in the wall? I mean, I've been... It could be all the way over here. I think I've... I've seen the entire right side wall. Oh, there's the eyes again. The eyes stole the orb. I mean... I... Hmm. Whoa, don't crash. Yeah, we dug down there. That's that. Let's just work our way up the wall, I guess. And we went down, like, right next to it? I think we already... Yeah, we were right here. Hmm. Now let me actually... I keep forgetting that I have this stuff, and it will probably work right now. It did briefly. Come on, man. All right, so it's kind of pointing that way. This one's usually really easy to find. I guess it's quiet here, too. So you can hear it. It's really strange. Well, we'll get this one first, I guess. Now, this is the first time I've had a problem finding the lake orb. It's like one of the easiest. This one is right here. Is this the lake orb? This might be the lake orb, actually. Hmm, okay. So we wanna go, where are we? Negative one, so we wanna go this way. Yeah, this has to be it. <laughs> All right. Now we're in East World, and this orb is going to be close by. Hopefully. <clears throat> Wait a minute, this isn't even, this is power plant. Right? Yeah, that's power plant biome. But yeah, unfortunately, guiding powder doesn't always work. Especially when there's a bunch of other nonsense happening everywhere. Nonsense. <clears throat> 
And I don't like using guiding powder for like usually easy to find orbs, you know? I like to save it for the right side and left side orbs. Because those are the ones that you really need it for most of the time. The rest of these, like, I have patience. I don't care. It doesn't take that long to find any of these. But it could take, you know, an hour plus to find the right and left ones if you don't have guiding powder and they're in annoying areas sometimes because they're the largest areas to search. Hey, Entropy. Hang on. Hey. What the hell? Get out of here. <laughs> Man. New game plus 26. The grind for just 33 orbs is patience testing. I don't know how you do it. I have very a lot of patience. I've needed a lot of patience. Being a content creator, like, you know, it requires an excessive amount of patience. Trust me. <laughs> very much does. All right, so we got lake. So the only ones we need are right and left, or like two from one of those. Um, let me just make sure I got all these marked off on my little checklist. I mean, I know which ones I need. Back in the day, doing a 33 orb run, or a high orb run, I should say. Ugh. When you would have to actually, it would take a long, much, much longer than this. That's when, you know, I did my first 33 orb run in new game, in uh, early access. Before it was a thing. And like back then, it was like, it took hours to do it. <laughs> hours. Man. I'm not invincible to Polymorph, no. But I can be if I eat the bodies of Polymorph Masters. Let's get some place where it's a little bit less hectic. Hopefully. A little bit less fire and smoke everywhere. I guess in here. Maybe. Alright, calm down. Man, come on. There we go. <laughs> ah, stop. Oh my god, cut it out. Alright, it's down that way, maybe? Unless my shield hit it. We gotta find some more Flamuxium. Which should be easy. Alright, it's definitely not over here. What was... I think my shield hit that. Ugh. Would be cool if you could get a bo bottle of poly meat. Yeah, it would be. Anti poly eggs. Not super. I mean, they are, yes. But the much better way to do it now is to just eat the bodies of poly mages. Because you get a buff that gives you poly immunity. You don't have to rely on, like, protecting yourself from poly. You just make yourself immune to it. So, yeah, you can. You can use the anti-poly eggs, but some of them kill you now. Jeez, come on, stop, particles. Like, I tested Nymph's one. The one that uh, makes that big explosion of Earth and that little protective bubble, basically. And it killed me when I tested it, so... Like, not in this run, obviously, but I don't know why it killed me, but when the delayed spellcast triggered, it killed me as a sheep. So, 
You can also drink Polly from a flask, yeah, but the only problem with that is that you don't know how long you have the immunity for. And drinking Polly from a flask, you need to drink regular Polly to get immunity to regular Polly for a little while. Chaotic to get immunity to chaotic, unstable to get immunity to unstable, and none of them make you immune to the poly shots that the poly mages shoot at you, or call me, or that was sudden, <laughs> or the wand connoisseur. So the best way is still it's to eat the uh, poly mage bodies. It's definitely the best way. All right, let me. It, everything was calm. I should have used it back then. And now it's like... Doesn't want to work. We still have a bunch of this. Do we have any guiding powder here? Or is it just fire? Where am I? Let's go closer. Blech. Polyshot could go through my shield. In New Game Plus, they shoot very fast, you know? And a lot of them. So, I'm usually, I'm mostly protected. I don't have a slow projectiles perk yet. That would help even more, getting, having repulsion field and slow projectiles and a bunch of shields definitely helps, but you can still get hit by it. It's better to like completely remove all doubt. So when I do the end of everything stuff at the end of this, when we try to get the three orbs in the chests, I'm definitely going to eat polymages before I spam end of everything. Now let's see if we can find Flamuxium. We'll just work our way up this way. Um, hang on here. It's probably going to break. They always do. Usually right after I say that, too. Please don't break, and then it breaks. Especially with enemies right next to it. If I could find... It's funny that I found that, and now I can't find Flamuxium in a very small radius. Um, you know, let's try using the rest of the Flamuxium right here. Okay, that's not much. Yeah. Oh, now it's working. See, it decided to work. Okay. See, and it's also a New Game Plus whatever. It's like spamming out particles like crazy. There it is. It was right here. Right, let's just um, take a dip. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Alright, so what world are we in? Jeez. I mean, the poly safety eggs are cool. They're definitely cool. I do like using wand builds to protect against things. And that's why I'm really happy that they didn't add a poly immunity perk. Even one that's secret. I'm glad that you have to actually, at least, at the very least, ah. At the very least, you have to get like iron stomach and then eat things and such, whatever. Whoops. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Looks like somebody ran out of memory. Bruh. <laughs> yep. It's definitely a bruh. It's fine. So we crash with 29 orbs. Let's see how many we have now. Probably not 29. <laughs> Do it. But yeah, I wish that we would have to use wand builds still to protect against Polly. 27. Alright. So, we gotta find that orb room again, which... Oh. 
Not over there. Shibababoo. Well, at least I have my juice. But where are we exactly now? How much progress did I lose? I mean, I know I had to get the two orbs. Where am I? Oh, we're all the way over here. Man. Ow, punk. Now let's die. Right, hang on. Oh, God, stop it. It's also, I keep accidentally switching to these and causing more fire. I was going to conduct alchemy there. Such a... All right. Spray that out. close to the main loop. Oh, it's right here. So our orbs despawned. I didn't make a backup. That just means we have 28. I'm gonna keep going. We should be able to still do it. 29, maybe we can get even one more. Cujo! Ow! <laughs> yeah! What's up? Thank you for the 20 months. Appreciate you, nerd. How you doing? Yeah, infinite HP is definitely not infinite. All right. Just want to see something, because earlier we got, we ended up getting the same orb twice. All right, this time we can't. All right, well, we have 29. Let's just hang on. We should have 30, so that just means we need to get... Damn it. That's the first time that's happened. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Two more! Woo! And then let's get out of this cursed New Game Plus loop. I mean, the world file, you know, like, resets with every New Game Plus loop, but our player file... Let's take a look at that real quick. I don't... Anyway, yeah, I wouldn't want to delete anything like that. Um, if the if things screw up, I would just delete this progress that we made today and go back to my backup from before the stream. I've done that a few times during this run, so I've already done like maybe like three more 32 orb runs besides the ones I had to do. So I had to repeat a few New Game Plus loops. It's fine. You know, no big deal. Patience. Yeah, I mean, this run has been going for months. Of course I have a backup. 
I make videos too, so like I need to back up my saves. I've been, you know, it's impossible for me to make content for this game and not back up. Because I do long runs like this, and then I do speed runs every day. I, I practice speed running every single day. As long as I'm home, you know. And then I also, I'm working on a bunch of different videos at once, so they're all a different save file also. But yeah. It's definitely essential to being like a content creator for this game. Which is why I really wish that they would add a uh, an in-game official like save slots. Even just two. Two or three save slots. So you're going to have like multiple runs going at the same time would be like such a life altering event. <laughs> or it would just, it would make me feel better. Just like, you know, whoops, pressing wrong button, wrong keys. I'd rather not like back up my save file and all that stuff. Oh, we are way too far, maybe. All right, let's look around in here first. See if we can find any uh, Lamoxium that we need now. Yeah. Well, even for the, the YouTube videos, like, those take minimum, like, days. Days to weeks of work for, like, a few minutes of everyone's time. <laughs> like, I've... Ever since day one, all those videos have taken an excessive amount of time to make. It actually, like, making content of Noita is very time-consuming. However, I love it. Alright. Um, let's first fill the rest of this. Okay. And then, let's do this. Do it! Work! Please, I need you. I'm gonna restart again. So yeah, so that's all guiding powder right there. It just is not spitting out projectiles. Sometimes you gotta disturb it. Sometimes you gotta give it a little shake. Sometimes it's just like, screw you, I don't wanna work. Too bad. Okay. Yeah, see, you just gotta give it a shake. <laughs> I'm still looking for more Flamuxium, though, if I could find any. Thank you. Aw, too cute. You're too cute. No you. Whoops. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> See that's how you know like I never even look at my camera or anything. I should. When I first started using it, I was like always like looking at it and stuff. Blah blah blah, but now like I forget it's even there. Which is a good thing but also a bad thing. Where are you? Where the hell's my... There it is. So... We made guiding powder down... Here someplace. I'm just gonna retrace my steps so you see what I did. Yeah, there was guiding powder over here. And I, like, disturbed it. By doing that. Let me do it. Oh, look. See? There's some left, and it shot up this way. I think we... I think it lied. Yeah, no mods. There you go. Oh, let me get my coffee. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I see. I always forget about that because they added that later. You know, because at first it, you didn't even it didn't tell you any of this information, but then they added that. Yes. So that's good to know now. Thanks for pointing that out. I've only played this game for like my entire life, for the past two years. All right. Now, what the hell were you doing? We gotta find this stinking orb, which is someplace over here. Stinky orb. Where the hell? Okay. Let's see if I can find more Flamuxium in here. Why do you have increase and decrease duration spells on same wand? Which one? Increase and decrease duration. Oh, this one? Just to get the perfect time. Lifetime. Each spell has a different lifetime. And using mathematics, you can figure out how to get that. You want it to be negative one so you can make it permanent. So, like... I forgot how much lifetime this spell starts off with. Every spell is different. Or not every spell is different, but like different spells have different values, different lifetimes. And then using things like these and these, the ping pong paths and the chain spell, you can bounce it back and forth to get it to negative one. When it becomes negative one, then it's uh, permanent. Anyway. Yeah, it's an infinite platform. Well... The guiding powder shot up this way, but I've been up here a bunch right now, and I think it messed up, because it's not going to be up here. Watch, it's going to be like right here. It's not going to be up here, and then it's right in front of my face. Let's get Flamoxium. It's funny that throughout this whole run, there's there's been one other time where I've been like, I need Flamoxium, and I couldn't find it. Other than now. There's been Flamoxium, like, all over the place. And we can make it, but... Fungus area. Am I all the way in the wall? Yeah. I guess we can check other worlds. You have zero idea what's happening. Yeah, 
Right now we're just searching for a flask of Flamuxium. So I can find the last two orbs that I need. These. I need 32. Or I could just find... Never mind, this is not the right one. Where are we? West. Oh wait, wrong way! So what... Wait a minute. So are we screwed? Wait a minute. Because which orb is this? This is the sand cave orb? I guess all the orbs respawned. Yeah, that's the sand cave orb. When I crashed, I guess all the orbs came back. This is west-west, so this is going to be here anyway, but... Or wait... Getting confused. You can't pick up another orb. There's only... Even though you see them, you can't pick it up. There's... It's just like a mimic. It's a copy of an orb that I've already gotten. Because each orb has... Uh... Alright, that didn't respawn. There's certain ID numbers. So you can only ever get... 33 orbs out in the world. 11 in the main world. 11 in west. 11 in east. And because they have different IDs. If you go to, like, east-east and try to pick up a copy of the same orb you already got, then it won't let you. And then there are three... So there are 33 orbs in the world. And then there's, uh... An orb you can get in a great treasure chest. On one pixel in the entire world. And then you can take that great treasure chest to east and west to get two more orbs. So the... Maximum amount of orbs is 36 that we know of so far. There might be a way to get like a secret orb or something, like another secret orb. Because in the data, or in, not the data, but like, there is like another orb, but you can't even spawn it in with cheat menu. It just won't spawn in correctly. So maybe that other orb exists in some way, but, but yeah, even using a cheat mod, you can't spawn it in, so. Exactly. Alright, so, can you please stop? You're going to disrupt me. Thank you. Of course we can't find a flask of this junk. And of course it's not going to work. Why would it work? Why would it work? You know? There it is. So it's shooting up this way. Hey, Eben Wright, thank you very much. Rip LC, yeah. Thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. I don't know, man. I think it's confused. Because of our crash. Is it pointing me to, like, that sand cave orb? No. Alright, well, let's just find it. Process of, uh... Hang on. There's a chance that we're not going to be able to finish this and I'm going to have to reload my save from before the stream because we crashed and it kind of screwed some stuff up. So I might have to repeat New Game Plus 26 again. You think you could do a 33 orb run under three hours? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to be doing speedruns of 11 orb and 33 orb.
of course, like this right here, we're in New Game Plus 26. So it changes, but like going just to New Game Plus 1 and doing a 33 orb run is not that bad. Not that bad. Because I already have it memorized where the orbs are, basically. Or like, not where the orbs are, because they're, they vary, you know? But... I already have the layout of the world kind of memorized in New Game Plus 1. It's just when you get later in New Game Plus loops, the world becomes even in crazier. It's like Swiss cheese biomes all over the damn place. Right now, I, I just want to find this. This is taking way too long. So we're gonna make a little bit right here. Oh, now it's pointing down. It's going down this way. It's confused. Alright. Well, let's keep following that down. Yeah, we're way too low now. You just casually went to 1 HP? Yeah, it's fine. I have saving grace, and I have 40 extra lives, or however many. <laughs> yeah, so, like, Ominous Liquid is doing, I think, what, like, it's doing many more times my max HP of damage. So, like, 6 trillion or 60 trillion times my max HP. That's how much damage it's doing in one tick. Or more than that, I don't know how much, actually, but it's a lot. Have you done the new Noita missions in Nightmare Mode? What do you mean, the new Noita missions in Nightmare Mode? Mod? Oh, so this is this. Let's try underneath this, because it's been underneath this a couple times. It might be. I'm hoping to find some Flumuxium, though. Yeah, so poison damage from Ominous Liquid or Poison and Toxic Sludge actually as well. They do insane amounts of damage in New Game Plus and it gets more and more, they do more and more damage as you go. Once you get to, yeah, let's just pick that up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, we still have some Flumoxium in here, so. Okay, so now it pointed that way, maybe. The problem is I have so many shields and the repulsion field that also kind of screws it up. If I'm if I don't back away immediately. Oh, 
Oh, we got it. Maybe. All right, one more. Okay, finally. Jeez, where are we? West, yes. Let's go to west. Normal, I mean. Come on, pizza pop. Hey, Keith. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, hi, Mr. Telly Mage. <laughs> Alright. 32 orbs. We did it. It only took... Way too long. Way longer than... Whatever. It's, it didn't take that long. I thought that was something else. Funny how rare stuff is when you go looking. Exactly. That's how every game is, though. When you're... When you're not grinding for a certain thing, you get it. So easily. But when you're looking for a specific thing, of course you can't find it. <laughs> But yeah, if you didn't have Toxic Immunity in New Game Plus, once you get to New Game Plus 4, that damage starts one-shotting you. So, if you plan on doing New Game Plus runs, before you get to New Game Plus 4, make sure you have Saving Grace and Extra Lives. And you usually, like, it's, it's pretty much impossible not to, unless you're actively trying not to. But, oh hey. <laughs> Even more infiniter. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know exactly why the corrupted heart is not damaging me. I think it broke before I got infinite health. Maybe not. The holy mountains are all gone because of the supernova. It deletes a lot of the pixel scenes in the world like that. Okay, I need a wand. Let's just go right to the wall over here. And right here. This... Hey. Whoops. No, we need a better wand. Why is that wand even here? Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. Eight fifty. That should be enough mana, right? Ow. Jerk. Bloody Australian time zone. Why is that getting blocked? Because you said bloody. Oh, thank you, Laney. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, the corrupted hearts stopped damaging me, so I don't know why. That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, there's, you want to see the, the VODs? Hang on. I'm sorry to stall again, but it's fine. I'm going to be doing, after the whole thing is finished... We're going to be making, or I'll be making a uh, video for the main channel. That's on my second YouTube channel. On the main channel, there'll be one video, like a half hour long, maybe, or or like really cut down, just showing the highlights of this entire run. Oops. All right. That should have enough mana. In theory, we have 32 orbs. All right, let's do this. Infinite, Colmy has infinite HP now. Amazing. Look at you, Colmy. That's crazy. Oh, is your shield down?
It'll be okay. That's how we ended up with two of these. Too bad we didn't duplicate that again. Oh, but wait. Oh. That crash did destroy everything. Yep. All right. We'll do New Game Plus 26 again tomorrow.